Brian Scalabrini, I know that you were wondering that. Or should I call you White Mamba? Now we have the answer. And maybe, I mean, where does your name okay. come from, too? Yeah, I mean, I, so he's a he's a mob. I don't understand the mobster thing. He's a mobster out here? Is that say this one it all started? You know, I, I mean, it really is connected to uh, Chicago and Al Capone. Well, these are some other nicknames. Herbie mentioned White Mamba and Brian Scalabrini, which I absolutely love that he shares a nickname with Diana Taurasi because uh, Brian Scalabrini and her cannot be more opposite as players. But some great ones on there, of course, Dr. J, uh, Iso Joe, Swaggy P, we just saw, Nate. Yeah, my, my favorite, I'm going to have to go with. Man, Agent Zero's kind of fire. White Mamba's kind of fire. The, the glove. That's some nice nicknames. Oh, those are great. Uh, Charles Oakley, none that I am aware of in terms of nicknames. We will have to ask him. But of course, the 19 year that's Debo. veteran. Everybody know who Debo is. That's, that's Charles Oakley, Debo. There you go. Uh, the 19 year NBA veteran leading the 1 0 Killer Threes this season. And he is the one who is coaching Frank Nitty, who you just heard about. And then these two players for the trilogy, James White and Isaiah Briscoe, a great tandem for those two. Yeah, they went last year and it was a, uh, they had Jared Jack. They had a nice squad and they really, they really played well together as a group. You see what they put up against the triplets. They lost 51-45 to that team that has the two-time MVP, Joe Johnson. But we will see what those two can do the rest of this season. Steven Jackson, the head coach of the trilogy, won the Big Three title in his coaching debut. Had been one of the best scorers in the Big Three the first three years. Former Killer Threes captain, but he set the bar high for himself. He definitely did. Hey, he was one heck of a player, and then now he's coaching. He's getting championships. It's going to be lit to watch him uh, coach today. Love his look with necklaces, the sunglasses as well, and he will be mic'd up throughout this game. And here's a look at our starting lineups for game number three, presented by PNC Bang, Franklin Session, Frank Nitty. The captain of the Killer Threes, James White, also known as Flight, that's his nickname. The leader of Trilogy, Earl Clark, Amir Johnson, a group we've become used to with that group for Trilogy. Also for the Killer Threes, Dante Green, Josh Powell, the longtime NBA vet part of that squad. Here's a look at the odds for this game. I believe you said you thought the Killer Threes were going to come out on top, Nate, is that yeah. right? I got, yeah, I got Frank Nitty and them. Let's see how hard they play. Now, last year, Session led the big three in total steals, blocks. He was fourth in assists per game. He's really crafty as a player. Real quick, biting fast. Almost underway, game number three. We saw some great finishes throughout this entire weekend. Maybe we find more of a happy place in terms of the style <laughs> of play from one three-pointer the entirety of game number one to double digits for game number oh, two. Already, let's go. Already <laughs> seeing number three. the three ball fall. That's Isaiah Briscoe. He know how to put the ball in the basket too. Just 26 years old. Part of a growing number of players under 30 in the big three. A session leaves it for wow. Powell. That's a shot, too. He don't miss that many mid-range shots. You have to close out. Seven-year NBA veteran, two-time champion with the Lakers. Powell, one of the most solid big men in the big three. That does not go for Briscoe. Oh, you got to get out there. Another three-point attempt is Session puts it back up in the foul call. Session, just six foot two, battling there on the boards, earning himself a trip to the foul line. And he picks up the two points. Killer threes on top early. Trilogy looking for their first win of the season. The Killer threes 
most recently defeating the ball honks who were without Leandro Barbosa. You know, sometimes work just gets in the way and he was, you know, with the Warriors <laughs> as they were winning their championship, so he missed week one. Session, yeah. when four, you, three. When you win championship, you gotta miss week one. <laughs> You're part <laughs> exactly of a championship right. team. No blame there, certainly allowed to miss for that. Congrats to Leandro Barbosa for sure as that reverse layup not there for Dante Green and a turnover. Yeah, get it together, fella. Y'all a little sloppy right now. Steven Jackson, we have mic'd up today. You know he's a big personality as a player and I'm sure as a coach as well. Yeah, well, he'll say something, he'll say something funny. Travel. Box out, box out! What I'm telling him is, what I'm telling him is, Jack came in with the attitude to score every time. You gotta have somebody like that on your team with the attitude to score every time. He's on him right. Keep him there, keep him there, keep him there, keep him there. Keep him there. Green being guarded by Amir Johnson, misses everything in session right. again every on the rebound. boards. Hey, hey, but he coming though, regardless, you gotta find it. I know, but, but you, but you got to turn at least touch him. Yeah, yeah. That's got to feel great as a guard when the opposing coach is saying, "Hey, you got to go find him." Yeah, you got to, you got to match One the energy. One thing he's gonna do is play hard. Yeah, exactly, he's gonna play hard. Session picks up two points. And you're right that that is his reputation, as Steven Jackson said, that he plays hard. He played a little bit of Division I at Weber State, but otherwise Division II junior colleges. Of course, the three-time MVP of the Drew League in Los Angeles. So he has battled to get here to the big three. And you see it on plays like that. Yeah, he's real crafty. Guy that plays hard, loves the moment, loves to take the challenge. He's showing that he don't got to come. He don't. He don't got to just play in the Drew League to get it to get the job done. He come to Big Three and get it done too. That's what's so great about the Big Three is that you see, you know, big names like Gerald Green. You see the NBA champions, but you also see players who have had to earn it and really work their way up through different ranks, different journeys, and they got talent. Yeah. Oh. Johnson going hard oh, to the yeah, rim, a blocking see. foul, and one. That was a nice Zay, try. Zay, 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 they ain't got to call it if you lay, put him in the basket. You ain't got to worry about no foul if you lay it up. Put him in the basket. Free throws are key, yo. Very important in the big three. One shot for two points. Session jumps through. Oh, Leaping in the lane. He is working the boards. Yeah, when his it's, it's outside shot's not falling, he's going to attack that basket. Well, he hasn't been stopped, so might as well keep it up. Get the buckets that way. White. Trying to shimmy shake in the ISO. It is green, difficult shot. And Trilogy basketball. Trail by one in the early going. Amir Johnson backing down against Powell, the floater. Beautiful. Amir. See, he still got that turnaround, a little hook, a little floater hook shot in the paint. Six lead changes already in this one. Trilogy up by one session. No one around is he's gonna give it a go. Leaves it short though. Briscoe on the opposite side as he flies through the lane. That will bring us to the break. Trilogy <laughs> leading 13 to 10. Some great action so far. And game number three, Frisco slicing through for two. And the Trilogy lead by three.
Trilogy leading 13 to 10. Brian Scalabrini standing by with Jared Jack, the 2021 Big Three champion. Yeah, that's right. I'm here with Jared Jack. And first of all, you see your team. I got to ask you how you walk away from this when you were so on top last year. Man, it's tough, but the demand of uh, what the coaching duty consists of, it didn't allow me to have the season to be able to come out and play, which I would have liked to, but I'm enjoying my opportunity on the coaching staff and looking forward to next year. You loved it last year with this team, right? Oh, it was awesome. Playing for a guy like Steven Jackson. I know he told me since I'm here, I might as well put on a jersey. If I could, I would, but I'm just here enjoying everything. What do you think about uh, this trilogy team? We miss him. We miss him. He came and destroyed the league and got us a championship. I need my guy back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach said everything. You they think the trilogy has a chance this year? I definitely think they do. You got guys like Briscoe that can create, a veteran like uh, James White who's won two championships in his league, and then you got a solid big in Amir Johnson. And with a coach like Stephen Jackson, I think they can accomplish anything. All right. Thanks, Jared. Well, it's not just – Steven Jackson, his former head coach, but I'm sure all big three fans that would love to see him on the court again. But congratulations to him on his NBA coaching journey. He's with the Phoenix Suns, but a champion last year. This team going from fourth place to title. Man, listen, he was a tough cover last year. We had to guard him and Briscoe running around. They had a nice little one-two punch. And, uh, you know, Briscoe's going to, he, he has to take a lot of that uh, cushion from uh, Jerry Jack from not being here. So we'll see how, you know, how the season unfolds for him. Wouldn't be surprised if Steven Jackson tried to recruit him earlier today. Get him in a uniform, as you joked about. Yes, and Earl. a foul hey, calls. Hey, go back to that. Our old teammate, Earl Clark. Hey, hey, every time. He's a bucket. Stay there. We got we to gotta stay there. He seems like a there. great asset to have. Oh, my God. He stretches three. the floor. Yeah. Can I'm, score I'm at any, any, any level, three-level score. So him and Frank can X each other out. Bong. Ah! Yes, yes, sir! Yes, sir. Right back there for yes, Amir sir, Johnson. That easy. 4 yes, 2, sir. and it's a 6 0 hey, run hey, for the trilogy who have opened up a five point lead. Y'all can switch. Y'all can switch. Here's Shooter. Here's Shooter. Yes, sir. Hey, Johnson, Amir, no Amir. good from three there. Ah. Session saves it. Always hey. around you the basket. Well. Hold on that ball. You can go now. Go that now. might be a situation, Nate, where Amir before now. you Amir go now. to save the ball, you read what the situation is and you know you can score. Briscoe yes, sir. drains oh, the three. Yes, sir. Oh, sir. Easy to see. Hey, come on. Oh. Like you were talking about, Nate, with those Here's two shoot. being a Here's problem shoot. for Here's the trilogy shoot. last year. Yeah, Briscoe really knows how to get his shot off. Keep your hands up. I get the hands off. Hands off. Hands off. He lost, he lost it. And one, let's go, let's uh, go. Good ball move. Good steal, good turnover right there, good steal. We're not to force it, use your teammate. There we go, there we go, Black. Hey, 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 Earl. He's a shooter, you can't have too much. You gotta stay, you gotta stay, Earl. You gotta stay. Dante Green. Dante Green knocking down the three for the killer threes. That's what he do. Get it to him, get it to him. Get it to him! Get it to him! That's where Steven Jackson wanted the ball, and it works to perfection. He, he, wanted, he wanted to get the ball to Earl down there. He yes, has a mismatch. Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. You just gotta have to get it to one of them. We gotta stay. Hey, stay. Well, a timeout on the floor with the trilogy leading 22 to 15. Halftime is 25 points. Get that in the box and lay it up. Even if they go on you, we're not shooting no jumpers. Get official big three merch. Well, get official big three merch at store.big3.com or league and team apparel, including jerseys, hats, and jackets. You can get that all at store.big3.com. And Nate, I feel like you may have taken a, a walk through there. Going nah. to the big three store? Nah, I've been there. I just had to get this sweater because it's freezing cold in here. And my <laughs> arms were, I was shaking. I had my arms in my sleeve because it was so cold. So they brought me this sweater. So yeah, much appreciated, uh, Big Three. Appreciate you, Ice Cube.
Well, this is just an example of what you can get at store.big3.com. Looks great on you, by Thank the you. way. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm, glad warm, you were, I'm warm now. Glad you were able to get that. You know, I do have to say, I have before called a basketball game that's on top of an ice rink. Yeah, yeah. So you know what it was like to be cold. I was freezing oh, yeah. over here. Oh, yeah. Here's Johnson exploding to the rim, but stopped by it. Shot David is good. Hawkins. Okay, Hawk. David Hawkins. One of my old teammates as well. Hawkins as well, undersized, competing in every big three season. Great give and go. The one got a punch on him. jam, not there. He got a there. punch on him. <laughs> oh, okay, boy. D Green. He was right there. On the and it looks like we're going to bring the fire. It will be Green against Briscoe. And this is a matchup you like for the Killer Threes. Defense have won it every time since, so we'll see. <laughs> Obviously, Briscoe undersized against Green here. As a reminder of bring the fire unique to fireball three here in the big three. Coaches can challenge a shooting foul of one per half. And they go one on one. Here trying to overpower Briscoe, who is standing his ground. He has 10 seconds and gets the difficult Good shot better. to oh. fall. Oh, that's tough. That was tough. It felt like Briscoe did everything he could. He contested, he fought in the post, like that was tough. But that's part of the interesting strategy with the big three is that you may not even necessarily disagree with the call as Briscoe goes all the way, but maybe you like that matchup because you see that mismatch working in your favor. And that brings us to halftime with that Briscoe bucket. Can we they see that move again? Oh my god. To 17. We can't see that move. Um, behind the back. Oh, lost him with the left-hand lay. Woo. Don't do him like that. Steven Jackson absolutely loving it for his squad. Up by nine at the half. And he two, the big three. One half remaining as the big three takes over Chicago for week two at the half trilogy. Leading the killer threes 26-17, our final game of today. Sloan Martin, Nate Robinson along with you. Nate, I know you're not out there competing, but you joined this race. Right? Oh man, I miss it. basketball. I miss it. It's so much fun watching these guys go at each other. Uh, Briscoe's having one, one heck of a game. He's really crafty, run the basket, got great moves. Finishing with the left, fun to watch. Well, let's look at our previous game today because that is our monster moment. Isaiah Stewart, unreal. So, 27 yeah. points in the enemy's victory against Bivouac. Look at that block. Unreal what he did. A four-pointer to get them to 50 points. Not the game winner. Have to win by two in Fireball 3. <laughs> Although he thought that that would have been the game winner, revive him off the floor. <laughs> that is how much heart he put into that victory against the uh, against Yeah, Bivouac. he stole the show today. He stole the show. He definitely got player of the week. Well, Amir Johnson has been fantastic today as well, teaming up with Isaiah Briscoe for 10, oh, excuse me, 12 points apiece, getting into the paint, doing a good job. Yeah, six for six. Got a nice little, nice little flow going with him. Rebounding, using his team, getting to the basket. Playing a great game. He and Isaiah Briscoe, 12 points apiece, 24 of their team's 26 points from those two players. Yeah, Session's gonna have to make some outside shots for these guys to come back and win. Do you need in the big three and three on three in general, do you need balance or is it easier to depend on a smaller number of players because there is a little bit less wear and tear? Nah, you got you, you you need your team. Yeah. You need guys that can stretch the floor and shoot threes. You gotta have a three-point specialist, you gotta have a guy that can get to the basket, and you gotta have a beat a, a big beast, a paint beast in the 
in the paint that can get you a bucket. If you don't have those things, it's going to be pretty difficult for you to win any game. Johnson, Dominique Johnson knocks down the three to start off the second half. The killer he got a little threes. beautiful jump shot right there. That was nice. That did look nice. The killer three is trying to climb back into this one. They're only down six. Lob inside to Clark. Powers his way up, but not good. That should start off the first half strong. Looking at his one-on-one -on -one moment, he'll drive and kick to Powell. Long oh, two. Powell don't miss a pick and pop. I'm telling you. You're going to have to go. That's, that's, to go. His, that's, to go. His, that's his shot. They score again. Boy, if y'all got to go. I just miss those 22-footers, Nate. I just miss them. Mid-range. Oh, you got to go all the way to the back. Not dead, as far as I'm concerned. Earl uh, Clark with a bucket. They, they needed that one. We needed that one. We need a stop, fellas. We need a stop. Same thing. Come to you, Hulk. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. Come to you, Hulk. Hey, Hulk. You got to stay connected. He's a shooter. He don't miss. There we go. There we go. Go under. There we go. Good job, Earl. Good job. Hey, he can't do that, ref. Session knocks it down. He got knocked one down. Steven hey, Jackson hey, didn't seem to, to like him. how don't Clark and Powell were tied up underneath him, no. the basket. Roll, Earl, you gotta roll. The bucket. All right. Earl, 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 Earl. He was doing that all last year. That's a layup. Me? I see that shit too, but I'm rolling. I'm gonna get that layup. And I'm and I'm water. I'm laying there, I'm gonna get that layup. <laughs> yes, sir, good deep. Hey, hey. Stop session. By yourself, by yourself. Come on. Come on, Hawk. Good effort by Hawkins. Oh, this bucket. This bucket. This bucket. This bucket. Hawkins this bucket. working the post. Jammed up by Johnson. Yeah, nah, that was weak. That was weak, though. That was weak. Earl, get it. All right, never mind. You good, you good. You gotta go dead ball, dog. You gotta go dead ball. Both of y'all gotta go dead ball. Next dead ball. Right there! Right there! Right there! Session all the way smacked out of bounds by Clark. Well, good defense. Okay, you want to protect the paint. Good job, E. Good job, boy. Good job, E. Good job, boy. Give me that. No, no, none of that layups here. Covered a lot of ground to get there, too. James White deep in the post for Johnson. Just reverses it up and in. Put the left. Okay, Amir. It's a great job by White. Rewarding his post player. Working in that deep in the paint. Briscoe's got it now for Trilogy against Session. Five seconds left. Great defense by Session. Killer three ball. Trailing 33-24. The Killer three is 1-0. And, oh, and Session needed that basket. You need the outside jumper to fall. So now you can go to the hole. You can use that to your advantage. Work in the paint. As James White leaves it short. It's Green spinning. Difficult shot, and Johnson is fouled. And Dominic Johnson can't believe it. Oh, he found him. Make that a GIF. That'll send Amir Johnson to the free throw line. Wow. He won't get those two points. Yeah, it's tough. You got to knock those down. Those count. I might come back to haunt them. Especially trying to maintain this cushion they have over the killer threes. It's a 
Amir Johnson goes to work. Almost stolen by Session. He is just crafty everywhere as White attempts the slam. And not there. Believe it or not, James Flight used to be taken up from the free throw line like Zach Levine yeah. back in the day. We were talking about Nick, talking about nicknames leading into this game. That's another great one, calling Flight. him Flight. Yeah. You see it on his jersey too. He chases down the board. He wants one on one. Three seconds left, glances up, a running three. Four-pointer. Oh, that right. was a running four-point play. <laughs> right. That would have been something had it gone through. The turnover, and then Amir Johnson is fouled. Just that quickly, things can change. Yeah, that turnover and it changes, it changes the game completely. I'm trying to get to that layup fast. Look, good pass. Trilogy leading 33 to 26, a timeout on the floor. Called by the Killer Threes and Charles Oakley. And let's check in with Brian Scalabrini. Yeah, I'm here at the Microsoft Index. And take a look. This is, I'm, I'm singling out Isaiah Bristol and Amir Johnson. A lot of green, a lot of paint opportunities right here. A couple threes for Isaiah Briscoe. You could tell on this shot chart that those two guys have been getting it done. Nate, I do agree with you, though. Got to make free throws when you get to the free throw line. Yeah, it's, it's, it's vital. Big time. Those two points are going to come in handy. Absolutely, because they are three points. We're not looking at one and ones, for example. It's, it's a lot. Killer threes. Trying to inch closer in this one. They have trailed throughout most of this game against the trilogy. Stay ready. We'll go back and forth. Do you have Stephen Jackson, head coach of the trilogy, might dump this game? Ah, Miss it again. Trilogy basketball as I Briscoe with five seconds left. The defending champions trying to pick up their first win of this season in week two. Reset. We got 14 now. We got 14 now. That's a good one. I'll take that. You got good rotation on that kid. Right. They're giving for Nate the shot. He don't want to take it. Into the paint. Just KJ McDaniels tapped Come around a bit. They playing hard enough. And one. Yeah, he's, Frank Nitty is eating up the space. They, they give him the jumper. He, he doesn't want a jumper. He missed like three shots. Hey, come on now. We need a bucket. We need to stop in the bucket. Oh. Well, you heard from Steven Jackson. He said they're playing harder than us. And you can certainly see that on they're the boards. Yeah, they're, they're getting scrappy. Oh, my God. You can't, can't make free throws. Something's wrong. A tough one missed there by Session as Briscoe backs him down hard. Oh, and defense. an offensive foul as Session really was beaten up there. You got to be smart. Go ahead. Come on, bro. The third time, you gotta know he got a ball. Hopefully he is okay. He's yeah, holding his neck. neck. Yeah, one, two. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. His head hit his teammate's leg, back of the head. That's what he should be holding. We hope that he is okay as he heads to the bench and that we... That should have been a charge way before that. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go now. We can switch all over. Three is a shooter. Session taking a break up, on a the bench. Hopefully he is okay. Johnson will attack. 
flying into the stands is Powell. He's still Wide not back three. yet. That opens up Briscoe. He comes right back and grabs that four. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Johnson pulling up, and he is fouled by Briscoe, who got him on the elbow. Yeah, yeah, on the wrist, man. I'm thinking wrist right there. Briscoe did a great job of contesting. He just tapped him a little bit. There's another look right on the follow through. He got him. And we're going to bring the fire. It'll be Briscoe and Dominique Johnson. One on one. We have seen one time today, Nate, an yeah. offensive player win. And that was a tough shot. Each team has one challenge per half. Players involved in the foul go one on one. Johnson. Difficult shot behind the backboard. Excellent defense there by Briscoe. Briscoe played good defense. He always contested. Always got to get a good contest. Kids, if you're watching basketball right now in the big three, always contest the shot. You don't know how it's going to change the other guy's, the other guy's uh, jumper. And both times Briscoe was the undersized player, and he stood his ground. Even though he was scored on, it was an extremely tough shot. tough shot by Dante Green. You couldn't do anything better if you're Isaiah Briscoe. Now he's going to post up Johnson. And he is fouled. A lot of physicality between these two teams. They got to stop calling a little tic tac fouls, man. I want to see these guys really get out there, especially the guards. Like when the guards get in the post, you got to let, let something go, ref. You can't keep calling foul after foul. We just shot so many free throws already. And don't nobody want to make them. Crazy. <laughs> My dad used to always say, it's a free throw. Nobody's guard. That's why they call it a free throw. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Then they make them difficult Johnny shots. Johnson. When they are contested. Johnny Timeout Johnson. called. With the Killer Threes trailing 33-29. That was a last important bucket there as the Killer Threes try to climb hey, back into this Johnny. one. But it has felt like not as much of a groove for both of these teams compared to the first match. Yeah, they're, they're crawling. They're scratching the car playing hard as they can. Dominic Johnson with that straight on three. Briscoe caught up on the screen a little bit, it looked like. Yeah, try to go under. You never go under a shooter. I would imagine in the big three, it's difficult to go under on any screen. What's up, Jay Jack? How you doing? Good? Jared Jack. Yep, the good man. They miss you, man. They gonna need you. But they certainly do miss him. I mean, and him. Yeah, man, I've been knowing, look, I've been knowing Jay Jack since high school. Man, he's been a good guy for so many years, man. Hard worker. And he's always a tough cover to go against every time. I think it was he was even an unheralded player during he his NBA days, too. So it's great to see him back in Ralph, the association as an assistant yeah. coach. He can't use two hands. Y'all, y'all. Gonna take care of the ball. Black, black ball, black ball, black ball. Hawkins, that was blocked by Dante Green. A good shot. Earl Clark going one on one against Dante Green. The drop step being difficult by Green. That's a bucket though, right there. Bye -bye. Just a little bit off, and you see Dante Green. When he turns around, you can see on his arm, his left arm, there you see it right there. He has a picture of Brittany Griner, who of course is the Phoenix Mercury star center and Olympian who's been wrongfully detained in Russia for almost 130 days. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. At this like, point. At this point, like, come on, man. 
Y'all know better than to, to, to treat her like that. And it's fantastic to see the solidarity amongst men and women, the basketball community, really trying to support her and doing all they can. I mean, calling we're a big, on the we're a big family. We need, like, they need to stop playing and go get her. You can't wrongfully get convicted and then you're in jail and then you're, you're behind their rules, which, which sucks. And there is another example. Amir Johnson has that sticker as well with the hashtag WeRBG. It's fantastic to see. The WNBA talks about it all the time, but to see in the big three as well, like you see, Nate, we are a community yes, together. We are. We stick together. One band, one sound. Let's look at that last play. Dominique Johnson. Talk about bully ball in game number one. I think we're seeing it in this game, too. And the guards got to stay around the perimeter. Let, let the big guys do that. <laughs> Y'all gonna hurt yourselves. It is a five point game. The trilogy on top is Amir Johnson too short. McDaniels, baseline. He stepped out of bounds. I think I fell. Oh, he stepped out. Absolutely did. Hawkins avoiding a blocking foul, though, as he Man, you got see beat that? baseline. Uh, Earl Clark. It's a bucket. Automatic from there. 38 to 31 is the trilogy lead. Steven Jackson leading his defending champions, looking for win number one of the big three season. Come on now. Here we go. Here's the price, price. All we got to do is face that. Trilogy up over the Killer Threes in Game 3 today, 38-31. Standing by the Trilogy head coach, Steven Jackson, with, with Scout. All right, Jack, what's it going to take to close this thing out? More effort, less mistakes. You know Frank Nitty and those guys are going to play hard. The way Oak coaching them to play is to play hard and be physical. And that's why they're back in the game. We got to make uh, – we left 12 points on the line. So we got to – Stop them from getting offensive oh, rebounds, make smarter plays, and just try to finish this game. You think I can pull those chains off? You think I can pull off those chains? Of course. No, if anybody can, you can. There you go. And you, next game, he's going to have them on commentary. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. You're going to be so icy. You're going to be so icy, uh, Scal. <laughs> I want to see that, so tune in next week. Oh, well, yeah, I'm like Malibu's most wanted. <laughs> I remember my rookie year, as the guys were hazing me, they made me wear all the chains for a game one time. That's funny. I had like, I, you know, and chains were hot back in yeah. 2000. <laughs> I had about 10 chains on. That's hilarious. Wait, during a game, Scott? Yeah. Well, I was on the, I was in the come, inactive come. roster, you know. Either way. I mean, it, it, as you're especially right in the year 2000, I would think that would have been the statement you wanted. Oh, yeah. That's when the, that's when the big chains were out. Yeah, long real, ones. real big chains. Yeah. Kenny Martin's chain, Jason Kidd's chain. Oh, Everyone yeah. had a chain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Steven Jackson bringing it back. Hawkins, a long two, misfires, and a rebound to Session. Nate, we have seen so much effort from the Killer Threes. You heard the high praise from Steven Jackson, but how has Trilogy been able to keep up in this game with the physicality oh, and plays like that? Man, you got, you, got, you got master energy. Like like, like Stack said, you got to master energy because they're going to play hard and physical because that's how, that's how that coach plays. You cannot hit they the go play and physical and like that. It, you pick it up and dribble against me, Art. You cannot do that. I don't know where you was about the basketball at. You cannot do that shit. Earl Clark layup. Love to see that mid-range fall, especially as you look Beautiful. at Powell, you look at Earl Beautiful. Clark in this matchup. And the opportunities are really there on three on three. Good Green, defense. the step back. Good defense. Briscoe shoved by KJ McDaniels. He sells a lot. He be flopping a lot. <laughs> they be flopping. Head back. 
It'll give it to the trilogy. Here's Clark. Just a smooth one dribble it's a pull layup. up. They call that a layup. All we did was go to him in a, in a crunch time because he can make that shot like that. Erpo, he got 12. Yeah, he don't want to shoot that. Session the Euro. He don't want to shoot no jumpers. Clark just rips it away from him. It's a layup. Behind the back pass, underneath Charged. the Briscoe and an offensive foul. Oh, good pass. Killer three ball. They're within six, so just a couple possessions. They've trailed for much of this game. Beautiful oh, turnaround the by one Green. Foot. That was nasty. Okay, D Green. Think about for all these players, the number of hours, the thousands of times that he's practiced doing that. Perfection. Hawkins against McDaniels, leaves it for Briscoe. Well timed between those two. Nice left. Briscoe uses that left hand a lot. I like it. In week two, seeing the connection between these players continue to progress on plays like that as an example. Session almost tripped up. He's got four seconds. He earns the bailout foul with just a couple seconds left. He's a Dante Green shot, just mm, beautiful. And then Br Hawkins to Briscoe. Any time that cut perfectly, seeing Hawkins in some trouble with his dribble picked up. Come on, let's see if he can knock these free throws down. He missed both his free throws. It's another thing you heard some criticism from Stephen go. Jackson. He left 12 his own points team. on the board. Game would have been over. Well, trilogy inching closer to point game. First to 50 wins in they, Fireball they need 3. This win too. They absolutely do. After an 0 1 week one, the reigning champions as Earl Clark knocks down the three. He has looked so locked in, 15, so smooth. 18. Making all his little mid-range shots. 17. 17, yeah. Great efficiency for Clark today as McDaniels will spin. And Clark meets that rebound at the rim. Knocked away that time by Green. Hawkins launches a three. <laughs> Able to save it to his own teammate. Because otherwise, could have been a turnover. Charge. Good defense. Great defense right there. Way to stay. Knowing a, knowing a Euro step was coming. He knew he saw it coming a mile away. Let us take that. He's complimented this Killer 3 team, especially Frank Session. Nothing else he can say there except. Good defense. Wow. Good defense. <laughs> <laughs> you say a uh, good defense. That is a guy putting his body on the line to win. He has been, to be quite honest, he's taking a beating today. The Man, time he got to stay up the paint. Up. He got to go. He got to go. He got to work on that outside shot. He get that outside shot. He's gonna be unstoppable. He don't got no confidence in his shot. They're going under. He's still going to the basket. He's well, making it harder on himself. Well, he took the nickname Frank Nitty after Al Capone's enforcer, so we know that he is tough. And that's what he's showing today. Hey, Session's got those free throws because that's Briscoe's fourth foul this half. Thank shoot you, that. Scout. Look, you don't want to shoot, that Scout. Is... Scout, how come you don't want to shoot no jumpers? You don't have the jumper. Oh. Why would you shoot when you can do that? And, and you get the ball back? Are they in a bonus? Yep. Yes, they are. They get the ball back, too. That's a big shot right there. Session backing down Briscoe. I did not think coming into this matchup, Nate, that we would guys. see. <laughs> we Frank Nitty weighed like a, a, a buck fifty. 
<laughs> posting guys up. <laughs> I did not think I'd see the session Briscoe post up matchup. Exactly. Yes, it's been funny. It's been fun to watch all day. They've been going back and forth. I think Freak Nitty make these free throws, they get the ball back. And hey, a lesson to as you mentioned the young ballers out there that even if you are 6'2, a buck 50, learn to post. Yeah. They get the ball back. Both teams in the bonus trilogy. So both teams with point game. What time is 46, 47? Exactly right. That is a long two by Dante Green. Great pass. They walk them down. And the killer threes on a nine, eight nothing run. So is it is it 49 or 48? It says 48 up there on the scoreboard, but then 49 on here on TV. Well, we do know the Killer Threes could win on their next buckets. Look at that last bucket toe on the line by Green. Another, oh, nope. no. Oh, what? None alive. That Three. is a three. So that is a three by Dante Green. Originally whistled as a two. So it's trilogy basketball. trying to keep this game alive. And Isaiah Briscoe will score. So Trilogy leading 49, 48, still point game for both of these squads. Session throwing it back to Green, that time a three taken by Clark. Briscoe wanting it against Session, who's battling hard. Briscoe leaves it up. It didn't touch anything. And Johnson, did he step out of bounds? Yeah, definitely stepped out of bounds. He didn't know where he was at. Frankly, you could have went up with that. You can see where his heel is on another look. And the referee right next to him. So both teams must win by two in order to come out the victor. There is Johnson. And that is the game. Trilogy comes out on top 51 to 48. And they go one and one this season. <laughs> Everybody got wins and losses. That was a good game. Both of these teams, one and one. <laughs> Stack still mad at the refs. He about to get a tech. I was about to get one. He said, I was about to he get about one. He's about to get one. He's about to talk to the refs. Let's check in with Brian Scalabrini, joined by Amir Johnson. I am here with Amir Johnson. Great bounce back week two, eight for eight from the field. How do you feel out there? I feel good. Um, uh, last week, I just went to the gym every day just to get my uh, touch. Uh, my feet and uh, what can I say man all glory to God today. I was able to make some shots and uh, came come up with the win. Where do you guys get your energy from you guys stack on the sideline. You got Briscoe out there. Where do you guys drive off of uh, just knowing how we played last year. We won it. Uh, we just want to keep that same mentality of coming out uh, every night and playing hard and, and, and getting the win. You know we, we want to repeat so um, we want to stick with that mentality that we have to win every game. Jared Jack misses it. You guys miss him. Oh, absolutely. We told him to uh, suit up today if he can, but uh, we got some good guys and um, we're able to get the win tonight. All right. Thanks, Amir. Thank you very much. A fantastic effort by Amir Johnson with his team coming out on top. 51-48. It was this bucket that sealed it for his team. The defending champions are one and one. We will be right back with more on day two of week two, the big three.